Hello and welcome to day 27, wow, of um, healthy core and yoga flow. We today have on the agenda, we have a forward fold as a peak pose called Pashimottanasana, which is a seated forward fold. So we will um, enhance the core and prepare it for just that. And then we will get in towards our um, yoga flow sequence and end up in a nice yummy forward fold and um, you might want a blanket to sit on and you might not so take whatever works the best for you let's take a comfortable seat on our mat to start with let's sit nice and tall and Rounding the sit bones down, taking some nice deep breath through all the layers with the intention to switch out our vibrancy to a little higher quota, whatever serves us today. So that's like the whole purpose of this 30 day series is to raise our vibrations and raise our frequencies and feel good and feel nice and bright. So let's take a comfortable seat into that and set any other intention that you'd like to have for your practice today. Let's bring the palms together in front of the heart and join our voices in one ohm. Take a nice big inhale. And slowly release the hands and come up to all fours and we'll start with our cat cow pose. Maybe freckles will help us. Let's um, tuck the toes under and Bring your knees and your hips nicely stacked and shoulders and wrists stacked and arch the spine up towards the sky. Bring a whole lot of openness to the whole backside of the body and inhale and exhale. Vacuums up the belly all the way in. The body should feel nice and plugged in and kind of remembering where to put all the layers on this kind of towards the end of our practice a month together. Press the hands and knees, the toes, arch the spine up towards the sky. Exhale all the air. And two more, inhale and exhale. Spine up towards the sky. And inhale and exhale. One more big wide expansive feeling to the whole backside of the body with the lower belly pulling in and up and really massaging in towards the organs and then exhale coming back to neutral and come all the way on to your back please and from here we're going to come into tabletop with our um, on a supine form with the knees up towards the horizon and bring your knees and your hips stacked above and below each other and take the lower back and pull it all the way in towards the yoga mat and we're just simply going to take the hands and press them in towards the knees today and taking um, a nice full awareness in towards the lower back and we're just going to hold it here and vacuums up the lower belly in and using the deepest core muscles and just holding it here and holding it and holding it, pressing the hands and the knees into each other, breathing. A few more breaths right here. And there should be a nice burn in the front of the belly. There should be a nice connection for the upper and the lower back. And then exhale, release the legs all the way down. Take the arms out to the side and take the knees side to side before we continue on with our knee to chest variants. So let's take the knees in towards the chest and extend your left leg out and roll your shoulder blades off of the floor and do knee to chest bicycle variants for 20 
and lower back stays nice and strong in towards the yoga mat. And 50 more. And 13. Eleven more, ten more, and we might take the shoulder blades down, we might keep them up. And eight more, seven, six, keep that lower back in towards the floor, five, and three more, two more, and one more. Bring the knees in, take the head back down onto the floor, and you might keep the head down. You might lift it up again, see what works for you. Bring the lower back all the way in. We're gonna take the arms and the legs opposite direction, and take it in and hug it. Bring it all the way out, take it back in and hug it. Bring it all the way out, and bring it in, and out, and in. Exhale, and inhale at your most convenient way that it feels really good for your whole breath and for your back and we'll do 10 more we inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale Keeping that lower belly super plugged in for five more, for four more, and two more, and one more, and then bring it all the way back down. Take a little pause, and then we have single legs and the double leg. So we'll continue straight off and just take the right leg up and the left leg out. Lower back stays strong into the mat. And we're just gonna scissor right here. Scissor switch with the back. You can lift up right away or you can wait and lift it up after our 10. Five more right here. Four more lower back stays into the mat. Three more, and two more, and one more, and then we'll lift it up for 10, for nine, and eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and one, and then slowly bring it back in, knees into the chest, take happy baby pose, and ground the femurs, press your feet up towards the sky, hands and feet are pressing into each other, elongate the spine, and release any stagnation in the spine, and keep that nice plugged in feeling for the core, hands under the knees, come all the way up, take child's pose, Big toes together, knees apart, stretch the arms forward. And sink nice and deep down. Press the palms, lift the upper arm bones, lengthen the whole spine. And then gently come all the way up onto all fours. Tuck the toes, make your way to downward facing dog pose. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Tending in towards the ankles, towards the knees, lift the upper arm bones, bicycle out your legs, any kinks in the ankles, knees or hips, maybe the calves. And from here, look between the hands and come up on your toes, bend your knees, take your step or your hop over to the hands, inhale long spine and exhale full. Take your hands to the hips, elbows to sky, come all the way up to standing and release the hands. Inhale, arms all the way up and exhale, hands and fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, long spine and exhale, step to plank please. 
Shoulders and wrists are stacked. Lower all the way to the floor. Inhale to your cobra. Low cobra, high cobra. Any variant of your cobra that works for you today. Maybe swinging it a little side to side to get into the nook and crannies of that SI joint of the side of the waist of the hips and then exhale release push back child's pose big toes together knees apart sinking all the way back and gently come back up downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana pressing into the palms transferring energy from the palms through the whole body over to the hips down the legs Three breaths into our downward facing dog. Every exhale, we empty the air all the way out. And expand the back body. Look between the hands, come up on the toes, bend the knees, take a step or a hop over to the hands. Inhale, long spine and exhale, fold. Hands to hips, elbows to sky. Press the feet, inhale, come up to standing and release the hands. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold. Slight bend into the knees. So we have two more Surya Namaskar A to get all the nook and crannies nicely warmed up. Step to plank pose. Shoulders and wrists are stacked. Claw the fingertips. Lower all the way to the floor. Inhale to cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder. Lift the heart, the chest, the lungs forward and up. And exhale, release. Push back, child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Get some good articulation in the spine and the hips. And then gently from here, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. With each breath, feel the body with a nice new vibrancy with each exhale exhale out any stagnation anything that's weighing you down come with your gaze forward come up on your toes bend your knees take a step or a hop over to the hands inhale long spine and exhale fold hands to hips elbows to sky press the feet Come up to standing and release. And we'll do one more. Inhale. Take it all the way up. And exhale. Hinge and fold. Uttanasana. Inhale. Long spine. Exhale. Step to plank, please. Take a pause in plank pose. And then lower all the way to the floor. Inhale to cobra. You should feel a little bit easier for the spine to lift. For the belly should feel nice and expansive for the whole body and exhale release bring it all the way back down child's pose big toes together knees apart and downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana give yourself three nice deep breaths right here press the palms Lift the upper arm bones, pull the belly button in and up, and at the same time, extend from there. So it's a full wrapping into the core and extending out from there. Look between the hands, come up on the toes, bend the knees, take your step, your hop over to the hands, inhale, long spine, and exhale, fold. Hands to hips, elbows to sky, root your feet, come to standing and release the hands. Nice. We're going to step the feet um, out and hip widths apart and take and cross the hands, cross the arms and take your thumbs facing up. I'm going to come a little bit closer so it's easier to see. So we're going to just take the hands just like so, right? So that we can really help to bring the inner thighs wide back and apart. And then from there, pull the lower belly all the way up. So we're going to cross the hands and really bring the inner thighs down towards the floor back towards the hamstrings and at the same time you're going to bring that lower back all the way up and get some good expansive feeling in towards the whole backside into the whole spine and we'll just switch the hands out to do it one more time take a little pause 
and take the thumbs up on your thighs and your fingers down in your thighs and then push the flesh wide back and apart and arch the spine all the way up create lots of space for the spine it's like a nice big hug in the front body to the whole front side of the spine and exhale release and come back to the front of the mat inhale sweep the arms all the way up and exhale hinge and fold bring the feet all the way together and from here we're going to bend the knees and come into Utkatasana, chair pose, sweep the arms forward, pull the upper arm bones in and take your bicep towards the ears. And here we are in Utkatasana and we might even take the gaze up and get a nice upper back opening, chest opening. And then exhale, fold forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. Step your left foot all the way back nice big step back to a supported crescent with hands on each side take a pause here and then extend your front leg toes up heel down and again bring it all the way down stretch into your thigh ground your right femur exhale fold and inhale one more time and exhale and slowly from here, make your way back to crescent with hands on your right thigh. And then we come back to arching the spine up towards the sky and release the hands, take the arms forward, bring the upper arm bones in and take the bicep towards the ears. Elongate from your hips to your shoulders, to your wrists, to your fingers. Pull the right hip back, pull the lower belly in and then exhale, release hands to the floor, step it back down dog come forward to plank pose come all the way to the floor inhale to cobra inner shoulder to outer shoulder and exhale come back down push the toes under down dog Adho Mukha Svanasana give yourself three nice deep breaths here as you anchor in towards your hands fingertips as you clear and clean the body with the energy that's pulsating through the palms, the arms, the whole torso body, down the legs, grounding in towards the feet. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, take a step or hop over to your hands, inhale long spine and exhale fold. Bring your feet back together if they like me kind of found their way apart. Sometimes I really like to have my feet hip widths apart, but let's start from the midline so the inner edges of the feet are touching each other. Step your right foot back, big step back. Take your hands and support them on each side of your left foot and we're coming into a supported lunge pose and extend your front leg and come into Parasvottanasana pyramid pose, heel down, toes up and come back down. Drink it in through the heart space and exhale, fold forward, inhale for one more and exhale, bring it all the way back and take it back down and adjust yourself. Come into a comfortable supported with hands onto your left thigh, arch the spine up towards the sky, release the hands, inhale, arms forward. Pull the upper arm bones in and then arms up towards the sky. Full nice big elongation. Rinsing and repeating our crescent pose almost every single day for these 27 days. And exhale, release. And step back to your plank pose. Lower all the way to the floor. Inhale to cobra. Inner shoulder to outer shoulder and exhale fold down dog tuck the toes use all the power in your core lift yourself up to downward facing dog three more breaths here in our down dog to really just get the whole front side of the body to hug in and extending in towards the back side of the body from here come up onto your toes bend your knees look between the hands come forward Inhale, long spine, 
feet together, exhale, fold, bend your knees, inhale, take the arms forward, bringing the upper arm bones in, closing up with our Utkatasana for that sun salutation variant. And then inhale, come all the way up and hands down to the side. Nice. From here, we're going to come with the hands to the hips, feet together, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, hinge and fold, bending in towards the knees. Take the peace fingers around your big toes. You might have to move your feet slightly apart so your fingers have a space to be. Exhale, fold. Take your left hand to your hip, bend into your knees. You're just going to bend into the knees so that the ankle and the hips are stacked. Elongate out through the spine, pull all you have in towards the front of the spine, and then sweep your right leg up to the horizon. And have a nice time right here. Pressing your big toe and your peace fingers into each other. And just standing, making some good memories, making some good determination to open up the back side of the leg and then exhale release keep your hands and your uh, big toe connected and switch to the second side fold take your right hand to your hip find all power into the four corners of your right standing foot and from the bottom of the feet from the hands pull everything in skin to muscle muscle to bone and lift your left leg up for extended hand to big toe pose. Spread your toes. Connect to your standing leg, through the standing foot. Cleaning and clearing any stagnation. And just sending it off and keeping it nice and pure and clean for all layers as we go through our yoga poses each and every day. And then exhale, release, take it back down. Take your peace fingers around the big toes, feet, hip widths apart, and bring your elbows out to the side. Roll the shoulders up and away from the ears. And gently release and take yourself into tabletop, please. From tabletop, take your hands around the side of the yoga mat, scrunch them up. Take your feet on each side of your mat and come into Tiger Dog, where we get to bend the knees, ground the femurs. We've been here quite a few times throughout this journey. And it's so great to just really lengthen the side body and really from the side, it goes all the way in towards all the layers around the spine. And then you could look over towards the hands, lifting your sacrum, nice. your breaths right here. And then from here, send your heels down and place your hands into your, so to speak, normal down dog and your feet as well. Come up on the toes, bend your knees, and give yourself three cat cups here. Inhale, exhale. And again, one more. Really expand the back body. And then from here, we're going to make our way down to a seat. So either take a walk forward and sit down or step and sit or hop and sit. And extending the legs to the front. We'll come into Marishir Shasana variation with our um, Marishir Shasana A is really the pose, which is a sage's pose. It's an excellent hip opener and, and it's excellent opening for the lower back and prepare us for our forward fold. So let's take the right foot flat on the floor, the knee is straight up. There is um, this much between your thigh and your foot. You have a little bit of space in between, so you have the hip widths apart for your foot and you put both legs really. Take the right arm up towards the sky, bring the ribs in and then we'll come over and find your left foot. I like to take the left hand forward and have, the, have it nice aligned just about by the knee on the left side so that I have something that supports and I can push against. Press your right hand and your left foot into each other. And 
down, maybe you take the gaze forward, maybe you take your head down towards the leg. And then from there, we'll extend and switch sides. So, Marishurshasana prep into Marishurshasana into Paschimottanasana. Take your left arm up towards the sky, bring the ribs all the way in and hinge and fold forward, hand to the foot. Inhale, long spine. And exhale, fold, taking your right hand to support you right about where the knee is. And you can sit upright, you can have a strap, you can fold forward. Breathing, softening, melting into the layers, loosening up any stagnation, lifting it to the surface and exhaling it out. And gently come back up. And we're going to cross our legs and take a down dog to kind of just X that out. And then we'll come back again to a different form if that's available for us. Otherwise, we'll keep the same form. So here we are in down dog, really anchoring into hands and feet, skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Come up on your toes, bend your knees, look between the hands, take your step. You walk or you hop and come to a seat. And then from here, take your right foot back by your right sit bone. Take your right arm up. So here we have the opportunity to take that right hand again to the left foot, which is excellent. Hip opening, forward fold. And I'm sure, like me, most of you feel something in the right hip or like a lot. So we can stay here. We could sail that right arm a little bit more forward turn your right palm up to the sky take it behind and hands behind you and maybe find your fingers maybe have a strap there maybe find your wrist inhale long spine exhale fold and open up in towards the back body and gently release and bring it back up release your hands if you had them clasped and switch to the second side take your left foot flat on the floor adjust so that you're sitting on your right sit bone left sit bone is off the floor left arm comes up and hinge and fold with your left hand to your right foot and maybe your left hand stays on the foot or reaches forward turn the palm up and sail it around the left knee or leg and take your right wrist or fingers or a strap and hinge and fold and really pull that lower belly in and up really everything that we've done so far kind of all links into each other so let's wrap the whole front side in expand the back body and extend at the same time give yourself a few breaths right here and gently release and take it up release hands if you had them tied up bring your ankles cross them and come back to downward facing dog Mukhasvanasana. down dog and pedal down into your heels step your right foot between your hands and from here just kind of support yourself all the way down Take your right arm all the way forward. Left hand supports you. Pull the ribs in. Take your right arm up and over and we'll do some nice big circles. Really, it's the shoulders, but it really is the whole right side of the body. And so much holding into the midline. We'll just keep this circle going up and around and loosening up anything from the hips that we kind of stirred up in our in our bind and then bring your right arm all the way forward again and hands to the floor step it back down dog and step your left foot between the hands come into a low supported lunge variant right hand stays down left arm comes all the way forward and then we'll open up the left arm to the side and do our five big wide circles Inhale and loosening up anything on that left side. Inhale. 
bring it up and around. And inhale, exhale, moving the energies in and about and through. And from here, take it all the way back down, step it back, down, down. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, step or hop over to the hands, and we'll come all the way to your seat. From here, take your knees and bend them, heels down, toes up, inhale, sit nice and tall. Excellent, we're just full elongation. Take the hands next to your thighs and then we're gonna round on back and just hold it right here. We've been here quite a few times doing our healthy core sections and we're just gonna hold it here, bring that lower belly all the way in, expand the back body and then we'll come back up, bring the arms up to the sky and take the hands over to the sides of the feet. Let's take them to the sides of the feet and just wrap our body, torso over the thighs and expand the back body and lower back, middle back and starting our journey for our, for our seated forward fold that we will also take into a supine form. So we'll start here. This is where you can sit, you can stay, you can do this. You can, if you wanted and needed to, come on your back and hug your knees into the chest. That would be a great way. Extend your legs if it's possible, heels down, micro bend in towards the knees, sit nice and tall on the sit bones, bring the ribs all the way in and then hinge and fold forward, taking the hands either around the feet or let's bring back our peace fingers around the big toes. Inhale, long spine, have a nice micro bend into the knees Exhale, elbows out. Maybe there's a, more of an extension in towards the knees. As you pull the lower belly in, as you extend at the same time, as you take the elbows out to the side. You can release the neck. You can take the gaze forward and see what works the best for your Paschimottanasana forward fold. We'll stay here for three nice big breaths. And then gently extending it all the way up and release. And we're gonna come and sit in a boat pose variation. I like to scoot forward a little bit because we are gonna come down on the back and you might come down with me. Take your peace fingers around your big toes and take your arm, legs and arms up towards the sky. Now, this might be a big move if you keep your knees bent still, then you have your, you can do this right here. So either that or taking your peace fingers around your big toes. I'm thinking you are in this class because we do crave and want a forward fold. So here we are in an upward facing version of our forward fold. We're gonna pull that lower belly in and then we're going to take the elbows out to the side and bring ourselves into a seated upright forward fold. Gaze can come up towards the big toes. And we take a few breaths right here. And we just blast the energy into our midline and back out again, full pulsation of cleaning and clearing and staying in our center. And exhale, release. From here, we're going to roll down slowly and take the legs up and over and come into an upward facing forward fold on our back, supine form. You can have your hands still around your big toes. You can take your hands around the sides of your feet and enjoy And then slowly from here, release and take your vertebrae one by one down to your mat, massaging your spine one at a time, all the way down. There might be some spontaneous adjustments in the spine. And then we're going to hug the knees in. We're not going to hover the legs over the floor because we did that in the beginning. We did our healthy core then. So let's take the knees instead and bring them side to side and have the baby pose this way and that way. 
and then from here hug the knees into the chest and roll yourself either up to a seat or lay yourself stretch out into your shavasana crossing the legs sitting comfortably and just sitting nice and tall onto the sit bones take the palms facing up and we'll end with a neck stretch after having pressure onto that neck so we'll take the left ear towards the left side if you're laying supine you can just simply turn your head to one side and then gently bringing it up and switching to the second side And gently bring it all the way back up and take a few moments to sit nice and upright and kind of connect with that spine and take a couple of breaths we'll take three nice deep breaths through all the layers and um, there's been a lot of classes and as you can tell we're kind of wrapping it down we have a couple of more posing postures coming up we have um, shoulder span head span and uh, the open leg variants to really root everything in for the next three classes. So we're gonna kind of take it down a little bit and close up everything. But so for now, um, there was a lot of pulsating in towards the spine and around the spine and the back and it really released probably hamstrings as well and the whole lumbar area. So let's take three nice deep ujjayi breaths into all the spaces. You can breathe through your nose. If that's not available, breathe through your mouth inhale for three to five counts and exhale for three to five counts at your own pace And gently bring the hands to the heart and we'll join our voices in one ohm to close our practice take a nice big inhale and raise the hands and thank you so much for joining me on this journey I am super excited about it and I hope that you are feeling great and I'll see you for the next three classes and um, tomorrow I believe is a shoulder stand let's do it namaste